So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and probably one of the rarest cars I'll ever walk around review is this, the Alfa Romeo GTA. I've been here for almost what, one and a half hours and I could not literally stop looking at this damn thing because just look at it. For me, Julius and Alfa Romeo in general are one of the most beautiful cars ever made and this walk around review is so sudden I have to read from this. I literally just made this script during breakfast so being the julia gta there are only two variants available for this this gta and a much more extreme version of this the gta m which deletes the rear seats at the back you only have roll cages and racing harnesses on board this being the gta model this is a four seater this could be my spec of course i want this in red but the gta i because i do need the four seats but knowing the gta m with its hardcoreness, I I kind of like that as well. So the GTAs are only in limited. So the total production of this is 500 units. This particular one is 180 of 500. And Sir Allen told me, thank you to him again. This is much rare than that of the GTA M, since being the GTA 4 seater variant. So let's start here from the front. Comparing with the Quadrifoglio on which this is based on. Yes, this is not called Quadrifoglio anywhere, but you still have. Quadrifoglio. This is not sticker. This is a painted badge here on the paint itself. So this one being based on the Quadrifoglio, this one is still powered by the 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that produces 540 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. So plus 20 horsepower more than the Quadrifoglio engine. So this V6 engine is also a Ferrari derived unit. So it's basically a Ferrari Portofino minus two cylinder. So apologies for some of the background noise because the new Abarth Alfa Romeo showroom here in Libis will be opening soon. Yeah, so this place is still under construction, but I could not pass the chance here to do a walk around review. Also, shout out to Wes Cabuncal there and Sir James Tagli of Auto Haven PH, who are as well here to check out the Julia GTA. My burst for Alfa Romeo suddenly went back to life. I know I've been simping for Abarth for the longest time, but something about this Julia. An Alfa Romeo. If you know, you know what an Alfa Romeo is if you're a two-car enthusiast. So, since I'm here already with the Julia, let's start here in the wheel. You have 20-inch wheels and I do miss the pizza wheels of the Alfa Romeo. And these are really big tires. So, you have two 6.5s at the front and two 85 tires at the rear. These are also Michelin Cup 2 tires. So, as well, if you're planning to replace one of these and if you buy an Alfa Romeo Julia GTA, you have to order it from here because these tires have a specific Alfa Romeo badge somewhere. I'm not able to find it here, but it is very cool that they still put Alfa Romeo badges somewhere here. So now here at the front of the Julia GTA, yeah, the ground clearance is not really great. It's only like 100 millimeters or even less. So Sir Allen's experience with the Quadrifoglio, he never scraped any bumps or humps or made sayad in one of them. But this, you have to be a little bit careful because everything here is now carbon lodi <laughs> so yeah i love the streaks here i know this was a bit divisive with this gta because of the looks of it make it look more extreme but no no it still retains it's much more beautiful but i gotta say it's much more beautiful but much more aggressive looking this is what i like with gta's and as well you have an adjustable front splitter here this can go all the way down so even further lower your ground clearance but more down force baby and as well, everything here, if you can hear, this is now mostly carbon fiber. But the chassis itself is mostly still aluminum, on which the Julias are based on. But everything now is carbon fiber, like the drive chaps, the front splitters here, as I said. Going back to the wheel, you have single lug nuts now. So similar to a Porsche GT3, that's also to help save weight. And carbon ceramic braids. This one's also been painted in red. There's never been a better car spec combination with a white body and red brake calipers. So, as well here at the side, all the vents, by the way, here are real on the hood and here on the side. And, as well, I forgot to show you, the hood of this is exposed in carbon fiber. And it's so pleasing to the eyes as a car enthusiast. So, as well here, like I said, you have the painted Quadrifoglio badge here and this Alta Delta badge here. Short history with the Alta Delta badge here on the side. So, they're actually the ones who made... Alfa Romeo GTAs in the first place, this race team. So that's why this Alta Delta badge here holds a very specific significance for Alfa Romeo's history here. So that's actually the first time I learned about this as well. 
And on the side profile here, we have carbon fiber side mirrors here with the tricolor Italian flag. And carbon fiber splitters here on the side with a Sauber Engineering sticker badge. So yeah, Alfa Romeo as well. Shout out to the entire Sauber F1 team Alfa, slash Alfa Romeo F1 team. You finished P6 in the Formula 1 World Championship on a tiebreaker. Good job to you guys. And yeah, everything's aligning up. I'm wearing this and this is Alfa Romeo GT. Yeah, I'm, I'm fanboying at the moment. I literally can't stop talking about this. So more improvements done to this GTA as well being a more hardcore version. You have a lot more tweaks here in the engine like new turbocharger management and the turbochargers itself are really big. And as well here, you have new sets of suspension coming from the springs, the dampers, and the shocks front and rear. And speaking of front and rear, so the GTA's handling was improved further from the Quadrofoglio. So you have a 50mm wider fenders, aka 2 inches, even from the rear. I do love this part of the rear. It's as well exposed in carbon fiber. And as well, there is an option for GTA. Yeah, this one has been spec with it as well. Usually, Giulia Quadrifoglios have carbon fiber roofs. But they're not exposed. But this one is exposed. But the thing is, you have to pay an extra to further expose the carbon fiber. So, kudos to this owner for doing this spec. It, it just looks so lovely. So, I'm not allowed to sit in this GTA because the owner is taking this in around 45 minutes. So, walk around in the interior. I love the GTA badge there. Again, on the dashboard with the number designation. So, everything's mostly the same from the Quadrofoglio. Apart from the seats, which is Alcantara. And with the GTA badge as well. And I still love that all the seat belts are still good. I thought usually when you are the GTAs in body color, it, it will match the seat belts. But no, since the launch color of this was green, every seat belt is still green and that's why in the center console like the quadrifoglio you still have the dna with a race mode there and the center console i've been told i can tell immediately the center carbon fiber is a drag type now it's not the smooth one like unlike the quadrifoglio so here now at the rear of the julia gta sheesh it's it just looks so good in every angle there's not one car in the world for me where every angle is all beautiful Everything's is this Julia and Alfa Romeo in general, they're all works of art. <laughs> I can't get stop I can't stop looking at this thing, it's so nice. You have the as I said earlier, two eight five rear tires, they are really huge. And as well the boot space. There's no uh, divider, there's no metal divider there in the rear, but you have still a lot of space since this being a Julia sedan. So as well rear seats, like in front of the seats, you still have Alcantara seats, so on and so forth, and green seat belts. And being the GTA with the GTA M parts, you still get a carbon fiber spoiler, which you can adjust. That is really something to behold. And as well rear diffuser with an Akropovich exhaust. Sorry if I mispronounced the uh, exhaust. So that concludes my quick walk around review of this Alfa Romeo Julia GTA. Before we leave, let's hear the glorious 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. James Taggett doing their thing with this GTA. So I'd like to thank again Sir Allen, the president of Abart Alfa Romeo here in the Philippines for making this what quick walk around review possible. I literally forgot to do an outro because yeah we were pressed for time because yeah this is literally a few minutes away from being delivered to the owner and taken by the owner. And I forgot to mention as well this car, the, well the QV not this one but still a Julia, received a lot of accolades back in the day so yeah. Hopefully the owners watching this enjoy your new toys. So that concludes my walk around review of this. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more future walk around reviews and Alfa Romeo reviews and the grand opening of this Alfa Romeo show. Bye bye.